other side in with my wrist on top of his head. Here, I can pull and easily go. Pull and knee straight to the stomach. So again, I pull, I go one, two, and I put my weight in. One, two, three. For the knee, I want to use this part of the leg. One, two, one, two, three. I go. One, three, one. And at the one point, if he puts his leg forward, there, me, two guys, no. Hi, everyone. It's Eddie here. So today we're going to see on two clinch techniques. Uh, we're going to do the basics. First, we're going to start with how to enter the clinch. It's important, you don't want to go with both hands out. Here, he can easily punch you, elbow you, kick you, knee you, whatever he wants to, and you have no way to defend. So instead, I'm going to first enter with my lead hand and my lead leg. Now, with my lead, hand and lead leg, I use my shoulder to get in. Don't use your hand because then there's again opening. Use your shoulder. Now, I step with the other leg to get the other side in. Now, I trap here with my wrist on top of his head and my wrist on top of my other hand. Elbows in and then I tuck his body in, bring my knees a little bit down, and here I use my tempo. Yeah. One more time from the other side. Here, I want to enter one, two. This is important. I don't want to be like this. Again, there are much more options for him to elbow me. Instead, I step in. Here, as he, if he tries to elbow, that's easier for me to get in. Here, one, two. Now from here, I want you to see, don't put one leg in front of the other. There's two reasons why. First one, they can throw you easier. You have only one leg where most of your weight is. So as long as I close that leg, you have nowhere to escape on that side. Here, I can pull and easily throw. Yeah. Second, yeah. you also leave one side more exposed than the other. So it's easier for me to attack the stomach. So here I can pull and knee straight to the stomach easier than if he was in both legs. Well, not as much. Now one leg forward, then it's easier for me to knee and easier for me to throw. So, now to practice this, we're going one, two, then the other one. Get the same position. So I enter one, two, then he goes and opens, then bring the hand inside, then with the other hand, pulls the other side and get the other hand inside. Now the moment he gets both hands, he wants to be a little bit closer. Yeah. Now, from here I do the same. I open one side, see, with my arm. Now, bring one arm inside, not both. With both, he can pull my head down. There. Then I, I have nothing to grab. So here, here if he pulls my head, La, la. I, I still can use my arm to get out. Here, one, two, then the other. Yeah, two, and one, two. Okay. One, two, one, two, good. Now, from there we're going to see how to put a little bit more of the weight on my opponent's head. So. This time we're going the same, one, two. Then we're going to jump one, two, three. Then the other one changes. So here, again, I enter, enter. I go one, two, three. So again, I pull, I go one, two, and I put my weight in, one, two, three. Now his turn, go. One, two. One, two, three. And one, two, one, two, three. Yeah. 
One, two, one, two, three, yeah. And once you get used to that, to put in your weight on top of your opponent's head, then you go one knee. Yeah. I step, now for the knee, I want to use this part of the leg. We're not using the bone right now because it's easy to hurt your partner. So instead of going here, I want to use this. Oh. This way, I don't have to be afraid of training my knee and hurting my partner. I can go using either the inside or the outside like this. Ooh. One more time, I go one, two, one, two, three, I go one. Now you, me. Hey, yeah. one, two, one, two, three, and bang. One, one two, two, one, two, three, bang. I guess, one, two, one, two, three. You can alternate with the knees. Bang. Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two, three. Hey. Yeah. yeah, remember, cat close. The farther away you are, the less weight you put on top of his head. Yeah, I put all my weight. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Hey. Oh. One, two, three. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Now, once you get used to that, you can try double up to three knees. Now, training one side. When you see that someone grabs you and he still has his weight on front, you can practice by stepping to the front side and pulling his head at the same time. So when you see someone entering, go, go, go. So again, we're going to. Uh -huh. ER, uh, same thing with the knees. One, go. Two, one. Three, one. And at one point, if he puts his leg forward, there, knee, see guy? No. We throw him to the opposite side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. One, go. Two, uh -huh. one. Yeah. When I go and I step, la, there, there, here. It's really important. Try to pull this side where you have already trapped the leg. If his right leg is forward, then I trap his right leg. It's about push, pushing and pulling. Pull. So these are the clinching techniques that we're going to see this week. I'll leave a comment below if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Hope to see you guys next time. Us. Yeah.